Welcome to the Straw My Life about the Megalodon. Dozens of fishermen have reported seeing a big predator in the middle of the ocean. A giant creature very similar to the white shark. Its jaws are full of huge teeth that could break a ship into two at once. We are talking about the Megalodon. There are a lot of horrific theories about this water beast that remain until this day. Is it really extinct? If it still exists, what does he eat? Is it as big as we think? We made a research about this myth and we are going to tell you everything we know about this giant creature. The discovery of the Megalodon was very odd. During the Renaissance, a lot of gigantic triangular fossil teeth were discovered in rocky formations. At first, it was believed to be moon rocks that fell from the sky. Later, it was believed to be petrified tongues of dragons or giant snakes. This interpretation was corrected in 1667 by Danish naturalist Nicholas Steno, who recognized them as shark teeth and famously produced a depiction of a shark's head bearing such teeth. The megalodon teeth can give us a lot of information about his behavior, the size of his jaws and also his eating habits. There have been many contradictory size estimates of the creature, but researchers think that he could have reached a maximum of 20 meters in total length. Think about this, white sharks measure 7 meters. The megalodon teeth have been found in the south, around Australia and in New Zealand, and in the north around England and Denmark. Some teeth have been also found in Japan, Croatia and India. That indicates that millions of years ago, our big friend was looking for warm oceans around the whole planet Earth, crossing also North and South America. Megalodon's favorite food were whales, but he also used to eat seals, sea lions, giant sea turtles or dolphins. There's a very viral video on YouTube that shows a whale being attacked by a megalodon. Maybe it's too spectacular to be real, even though truth is stranger than fiction. The megalodon was the most violent animal in the ocean. He was a real predator. His jaws were the strongest in the world and his teeth could pierce the shoulders, the flippers and the ribcage and the spine of his prey. While the white shark attacks from the bottom and then he lets his prey bleed into death, the megalodon crushes the bones and organs of the victim. The prey would die on the spot because of the injuries. Their heart and lungs would be destroyed. He also liked to use other strategies, like bite and rip the flippers of its prey. After doing this, the animals couldn't move and he could even attack baby whales like white sharks did. Both of these depredators coexisted for a very long time. Think about this, a baby megalodon is as big as a white shark. Even if this creature was very powerful, he couldn't resist the climate change and the cooling of the oceans. Furthermore, his food also became extinct or migrated to new places that the megalodon couldn't reach. However, we don't have any proof of the megalodon becoming extinct, but it's possible he doesn't live in the oceans anymore, but in the abyssal zones. Now the white shark can live at his leisure, he can eat whatever he wants and consequently he can increase in size. During many years, the Megalodon has lived in our minds thanks to bloody films such as Shark Attack 3, Megalodon, Jurassic Shark, or the best one, Mega Shark vs. Giant Octopus. But the most important question is, is he really extinct? Or does he still live in the most deep parts of the ocean? Researchers couldn't find any evidences that he is alive or extinct. Is a creature that could devour an ocean liner full of people in one bite living under our feet? If you like this creature, give this video a thumbs up. If you like monsters, subscribe to this channel. And of course, if you have seen a megalodon, tell us in the comment section down below.